Hello and welcome to our latest video from Edub Conversions. My name is Kit Lacey, uh, founder and director of Edub, and here we have a gorgeous, bright orange split screen camper van. I mean, isn't it the most beautiful vehicle you've ever seen? It was so versatile, introduced around 1950 globally, built in the United States and in Germany. And we are so, so privileged to be able to finally get our hands on a full conversion, which actually features, as you see before you, a working VW split screen with a working engine that does turn on most times and start and more on that in a little bit but we're going to start this video by introducing you to the split screen and then talking about the process that we specialize in here at Edo Conversions which is converting classic VW campervans to 100% electric. So at EDUB Conversions, we receive camper vans in all different standards. Some bring us their camper vans um, as a complete kind of blank canvas. Some of them require a load of restoration work at the same time as the electrification. Others, like this one here, are pretty gorgeous, which is lovely and scary all at the same time because it means we've got to be incredibly careful. Um, and it means we actually very rarely go near this camper just in case. And that's why my jumper is down on the shirt, just in case I have accidentally got near something that shouldn't be on a lovely interior seats. We'll go over the interior in a separate video, um, but this one is all about the kind of drivability, really, of the original status of the camper. Now, this has had a full restoration before coming to us. There's a couple of things that we're going to change inside, which again, we'll go over in a separate video. Um, but this one is just kind of to show you what it's like to, if you've ever been thinking about a split screen camper, or maybe you have memories of split screen campers, in which case this will all be very familiar to you. But this is what it's like to have a split screen camper. I'm trying to be as honest as possible. So please excuse any bias of the kind of thing that we do every day. Uh, but this is what it's like to uh, run a camper. Now, first and foremost, we actually have to have the 12 volt battery on this camper charged up constantly to enable us to get a decent crank to be able to turn it on. It's no good just to have the 12 volt on and at 12 volts, it needs to be really fully charged and it does lose that quite quickly just from sitting for a few days. So in order for this to run right now, we've had to have it over trickle charge for the last 24 hours. Um, which I don't know if that, I think it's probably to do with the 12 volt battery. 12 volt batteries are really dreadful, especially lead acids. If they get drained once or twice, they are done. And I don't know the history of this 12 volt. So we are going to replace the 12 volt as part of our conversion. We replace it with a tiny little lithium iron um, 12 volt battery, little starter battery, little motorbike size battery, because that's all our electric conversions need. No need for a crank. But this is what it needs. Originally is, is quite a chunky 12 watt battery, which we'll take a peek of in the back in a moment. So starting a camper is much like starting any uh, automatic, sorry, any manual petrol car. You confuse all the different types of cars these days. So you're turning the key, you're cranking it. Um, and sometimes, like I say, if it's a little bit chilly, you need to give this one a little bit of revs. But this is what it's like. So let's give it a shot. So I'm going to keep the handbrake on for now for this purpose. It's actually what's really strange about these campers. Split screen campers on the pictures and on the branding that you see, feel they look quite big. They're not. They're not quite big at all. They're actually quite pokey. Um, so get, sitting in here, it feels quite small, uh, especially compared to the bays, which is really strange. The bays actually feel quite large. So split screen here, key is on the side, down the side here, gear stick in the middle and your, your pedals are just as you expect. Um, so we're just going to make sure we're in neutral, foot on the brake, we're going to turn the key a little click which turns things on and then this is how it starts. So that was pretty good, we have just driven it out here. Yeah, sometimes that needs a bit of a crank and a little bit of a rev to get it going. Um, I'm going to speak up a little bit just in case you can't quite hear me anymore. Um, but that's kind of as far as it goes. Having a quick look in the back, So here is your air-cooled German technology from the 1950s. Incredibly simple setup. This engine, you can kind of see what every job is doing. It's already giving off a lot of heat. So you've got a lot of moving parts going on in here. Your 12 volt battery is down the side there. But you can kind of, you can see what it involves. You can probably hear it. Not the quietest, not the most subtle of vehicles. And it's, that's shaking quite a lot from just the engine. And you'll feel this on the inside when you're driving it as well. I don't know if that's going to come across in the video when we drive it later on. The smell is very nice. 
I think so. A lot of you might think the same thing. Some people really hate it, but there's something really nostalgic about that old engine smell. Definitely not good for you. We shouldn't stay at this end of the vehicle for very long. But in here, again, gorgeously simple engine bay. Our conversions take up this engine bay, so we keep the weight ratio exactly the same as before. We uh, put the main battery pack in this rear engine space, which keeps everything nice and uh, weight balanced as from the original. Uh, but all of this will get taken out, it'll be sold on, and it'll be replaced with our electrification system. And the motor that drives the wheels is housed underneath, again, connecting to the rear engines. So why don't we jump inside, let's go for a little drive, and you can see what it's like from a driving perspective as well, uh, to drive an original classic split screen camper. Okay, so here we go. I've got the window open, so some of the noise you're gonna hear is from that, but to be honest, it makes no difference. <laughs> you're still hearing it. It's, it. You can hear it kind of rumbling um, underneath your bum. Um, so we're just gonna drive around the yard a little bit so you can see what it feels like. I'm not really really get up to speed um, because I don't want to, for one. Um, but yeah, so this is how it kind of works. You go through, so obviously manual transmission with this one, handbrakes off, across and up for first gear. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of throttle as we set forwards, make sure we've got everything around it. So you can hear, it does make a nice bit of racket as we go. Okie dokie. So we're gonna give us a big, nice wide berth here. So we can get a little bit of speed up. It's already shaking quite, it needs quite a lot of revs, which then adds to the noise and the smell. It's really bouncy and it's had most of its suspension and running gear upgraded, but it's really shaky. And you can imagine, I think a, a lot of that is, is the engine and it's the kind of lurching of the engine as it's trying to, to keep you moving. Um, the engine is very underpowered uh, for the size of the vehicle. I mean, it was obviously perfect back in the 50s, but it's, it's loud. It's quite sprightly, to be honest, at these lower speeds, if we want to set off. But it's really not comfortable. I mean, if I wanted to drive even just into town and back, I think this particular customer said to us that they love this camper, they put a lot of money into it, they enjoy it as a, as a camper van, but they just don't enjoy driving it. It's not something they love to do. So we're going to fix that with an electric conversion. So let's give it a bit of welly up here, just so you can feel it. So we're still in second gear. Yeah, so it does all right, but it, yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna adjust all of that with our electric conversions. Um, I'm not gonna go out on the road with it, uh, just because there's no point really. There's a little bit of that smell that's coming from the engine in the back. Gorgeous big steering wheel here. You do feel a little bit, again, I don't know if this is a size thing. I'm about six foot tall. I feel tall. Oof in this camper so i feel like i'm a bit higher than i want to be so i'm probably going to end up driving a bit like this as we go around some of you may have driven split screens before i think that's pretty standard um, for a lot of vw drivers you end up with the kind of v-dub hunch as you're driving along but yeah really looking forward to getting our electric system into this one um, because i think it's just going to solve a lot of those big problems it's going to solve the noise it's going to solve the unreliability it's gonna solve the sluggishness, it's gonna solve the shake on the kind of lurching of this engine. So many things are gonna be sorted out by our systems. Um, so really excited to get our system installed into this um, and then we can kind of see how it runs. So um, that's all we've really got time for on today's video, but thank you so much for watching. Tune in next time where we'll be showing you a bit more about the split screen. Might release a few other videos in between, wait and see. Um, but we're gonna go over the interior next time. So you've seen a little bit of it today a little bit more behind you. I'm going to tell you the plans of what we've got for some of the small alterations with the interior as well and some new pieces of technology that we have our hands on that are really exciting. So thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video then please like and uh, share it with your friends. Make sure you subscribe so you can be notified of the next time that a video comes out. And if you've got any questions about our conversion process, then head to our website, it's edubconversions.co.uk. There's a contact us button in the top corner and we'll send you loads of information, probably too much information about the kind of work that we do. Um, and check out some of our other videos too. We've got lots of information center on our learning center as well on our website. 
to give you as much information as you need. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you again next time. Thank you.